two, two. All right. Men got to be men. I know that's a blanket statement. A lot of people might not understand it, but it's simple and it's true. Men got to be men. The society today has tried to change and justify what a man is, but at the end of the day, certain things that when you say that's what a man does or that's what a man is, it's consistent, it's true. Certain characteristics like men take responsibility, men take action, men should have courage, they should have a cold, stand for something. I think a lot of times men need to be careful and make sure they're aware to understand what it is to be a man. Because it's not easy. If it's, if it's anything, it's not easy. It's not the same as being a woman. So you kind of have to take some of the recommendations of what a man should do from a woman for grain of salt. It's no disrespect. It's just, I could never tell a woman how to be a woman, right? I could say what type of woman I might like or prefer. I can't. I don't know that experience. Not like she will. Not like she, I could never. I could never. And I don't want to because it's not for me. Part of this conversation where I want to go, I know it's going to be an unpopular opinion, but I don't believe in being vulnerable with women. I do not think it's a wise choice for men. And I'll tell you what. I believe there can be transparency. I believe you should share and build with the right one and establish trust. It's built on reciprocity and, and conversations and, you know, and sharing our thoughts, ideas, experiences, true, genuine feelings to an extent. I do not believe that men should be vulnerable to women. Men got to remember, at the end of the day, we are not women, we are not children. So we do not get the same care, we do not get the same excuses, the same grace that women get. You expect expected as a man to hunt, to kill, to go after what you want, to, to provide, to protect. You expected to do all these things. You expected to survive, thrive. You expected. You expected to be in the jungle and make it out. Life is a jungle. Tell me how it makes sense for an animal in the jungle, in the wild, to walk around exposing its vulnerabilities. You don't see that. They won't last. They won't make it. I know a lot of people may disagree. I think a lot of women will disagree. Maybe some guys that's in relationships, especially the guys that might be happy and feel like they, they found that person. That's cool. That is great for you. But I'm talking to the masses, especially the masses of single men. I'm trying to figure it out. I think maybe if I share this aspect or, or open myself up and be vulnerable, that it'll, it'll help. The one thing about vulnerability that you have to remember is once you expose that vulnerability, that weakness, it cannot be undone. They will forever know it. You could try to cover it up. You could try to pretend like it's not dead. It is not what it, what it is. But you didn't already gave it up. A tiger sees a zebra or a giraffe or a deer limping in the woods. I promise you that tiger is just going to patiently stalk and wait. And at the right time, it's going to attack. It can't, can't help but to do that. 
It's the law of the jungle. Women can't help but to remember what you tell them and time comes, trust is going to use it against you. I've seen it way too many times. I've experienced it myself. This does not mean be a jerk to women. This does not mean to not build trust and have a quality relationship. It's just understand as a man, you are held to a higher standard. You are not given the same amount of grace. You have to figure it out. You have to be a killer. You have to be able to produce, excel. Yeah, it get hard, but so what, right? So what? You stand up to pee. Deal with it. You got to deal with it. It is what it is. I think so many times we've gotten to a place in society where, you know, so much is put on mental health and wellness. And I, I agree with that to an extent of having a place to reset, to rebuild, renew your mind for men. But I don't accept and like the notion of men looking for comfort without putting in work. I will always understand and give to, you know, charity and to, to donations and to homeless and to people in need. But I think we all feel a way and feel better about it when we see somebody that's striving instead of somebody just out for a handout. Somebody who wants to learn a skill as opposed to somebody just wants you to do it for them or just put money in their hand and they don't really appreciate it. Men want to feel appreciated. To be appreciated as a man, you got to do the work, man. Come with it. The gig is the gig. The gig is the gig. And raising men, I think one of the most important parts sometimes is forgotten, but needs to be definitely reinforced is just toughness. Mental toughness, physical toughness, emotional toughness. All of that. I believe children, young boys, they need to learn how to express themselves emotionally and control those emotions. That's how you develop into a man. Controlling your emotions doesn't mean that you cry out all the time and that you just, just, it's always okay to cry because it's not. Controlling your emotions means just that. That's the time and the place when you do those things. That's the time and the place to be upset. You could be Absolutely furious. Had it up to head, seeing red. But you got to control your emotions because of what the outcome may be. So you believe the outcome for men, especially black men, can change the traje trajectory of your life. So it's such an important skill. The thing boys and men got to learn, man. Winter arc, winter arc. This is when I'm all about being focused on things that really matter. I was talking to one of my bros today, and we were just talking about how like, we could care less about what we wear to an extent, you know? We wear the same thing most days out the room. I couldn't tell you the last time I bought an article of clothing that cost over $10. I haven't bought any shoes in a while. I don't even know the last pair of shoes I bought, to be honest. But for my son, I'll, man, whatever you want, man. To an extent, whatever you want, right? Because you want to see in my family or people I care about, yeah, if you want it, it's going to make you happy. I'm, I'm all for it. He was saying it's the same way, right? And the thing that might bring you peace. For him, he was saying the thing that bring him peace is going to the golf course. Why give him four hours, go to the golf course, and he have a blast, he come back refreshed, renewed. Everybody need that. I don't know what my thing is anymore. I don't consider the gym that because maybe maybe the gym is that, but 
it's a different way. Cause at the golf course, I don't I think, you know, you're drinking, having a good time, conversations. When I go to the gym, I'm normally alone and I'm with my thoughts in a very dark place. And I think about all the things that I need to to motivate me in ways that get me where I need to be. A guy came up to me today when I was doing the exercise and I didn't know what happened. I thought he, he he's a uh, staff member at the gym, and I thought he was about to kick me out. Wouldn't be the first time I got approached like that in the manner about you know something I was doing at the gym. I I didn't know if it was because I was filming, or if I was dropping weights too loud, or if somebody I don't know maybe maybe I was sweating too much. I, don't, I didn't know what he was going to say, but he kind of approached me in a, in a, a wild way, weird wild way, and then he got closer. His eyes got big. He was like, "You doing that?" I was like. Yeah, I don't have much time, so I gotta get after it. Cause I, I don't, again, I don't mess around in the gym, and I'm getting to a point where I'm not going to mess around in life <laughs> too much when it comes to just wasting time. But he was like, "Wow!" He asked me how old I was. I told him I was like 62. And I was like, just kidding, just kidding. 41. He couldn't believe it. He said he was 30. And, Telling me about you know why he lifts and works out, asking me a couple of questions, and uh, he was like, "Why are you doing this? Are you a ex athlete? Did you play sports pro or something?" And I was I said, "Nah," <laughs> and he he looked kind of confused. He was like, "Then why are you doing it?" I said, "I looked him dead in the eye. I said, it's things I've been through in life that I think about when I'm in here." And it's a place for me to process those emotions in a healthy manner. I said, when I'm in here, I'm in a dark place most times. You see me with my headphones on, I'm listening to R&B. And I don't think he was prepared for that answer. Kind of reminded me of like how Mike Tyson interviewed with that little girl the other day. I don't think she was prepared for his answer about legacy. What? That's the answer. That's my truth. It's going to work for me. That's what get it done. Winter art. I hope if you're watching this video, get to this part. Do you want to understand what a winter arc is for you? Lock in and do something extreme. Take yourself to the next level. You probably know what to do, but you probably know some of the steps you need to take. Give yourself no option. Go harder. Go harder.